It's a raggedy ass system, I tell you. This old trifling ass service. What's up, niece? Hey, girl. Hey, hey, boy. Hey. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Thank you, Mimi, for being such a diligent moderator. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart. And this is the Facebook and YouTube live versions of So Much to Say. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Please hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys for being here and to and for fellowshipping with me today. It is uh, 1.45 p.m. We don't really have much gasoline in the car, so we're gonna try to get out here to Conjures on electricity. Now, Nisa, I know I can get out here on electricity, but the problem is, don't you hate when people get in your car and they regulate the goddamn temperature? Now, I got the shit, the AC on, but I feel all this heat over here on this side of the car, and I look, the damn temperature over there is 76 degrees. Well, no wonder I still feel the heat. Torrance, keep your goddamn hands off the thermostat and stuff in my car. You get in here, you put your seatbelt on, and you be a passenger. That's it. Don't go touching nothing in here unless you're going to pay this note or put some fuel in here. Amen? But at any rate, as I was saying, giving honor and glory to God. Um, giving all honor and glory to God. Um, I want to thank you all for fellowshipping and being here this morning or this afternoon, whatever it is. It's 2 o'clock, but it's morning over there in L.A. And, um, yeah, I, I went to Keon's birthday party last night. Right, pay this insurance since you want to be touching stuff in the car. But um, I went to Keon's uh, party last night. He had um, uh, uh, what he called a... Uh, What is it called? A sneaker ball. Um, he had a sneaker ball last night. Thank you very much, Nico. And um, so we wore suits and sneakers. And the ladies wore a dress or a gown and sneakers. <sighs> I didn't have anything to eat today except for, I just realized I didn't even juice. I left my produce soaking in the, um, in the um, fruit and veggie wash. What was I thinking? My God, today. I didn't even juice. I ate a bowl of cereal and I got everything prepped because the lawn people came today to, you know, cut the grass and trim the edges and all that kind of shit. And um, I went out there to open, unlock the gate for them. And I forgot to come back and juice. I completely forgot. Thank you, Michi. Was that Michi or Meech? Thank you very much. Um, but yes, I went to that last night. Earlier in the day, I went to the gym and then I relaxed. That was about it. And now I'm on my way over to Madison's house so we can do a little fag talk. I got some things I want to talk about. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, Miss Mary usually cooks. Miss Mary usually cooks, but I'm hungry. Now, I'm hungry right now. So I'm on my way over here now. I like to eat before I go, but I didn't get a chance to, uh, other than the cereal that I had this morning. Um, yeah. How was your weekend? Did, it, did you all have a great weekend? Thank you to everyone who sent something for $5 Friday. I appreciate it. Um, some of them came through after I was off the live. But I will say thank you now because I am not a Brandon Fowler. 
Kim Adair, uh, my girl D. Moore, Barbara Hyman, Rosalind, Terrence Williams, Joyce Duggar, Mantra Hatton. <laughs> all right. So I want to say thank you to all of you. Why do these people sit at this light? Niece, if you don't get around this corner, why are you waiting for the light to turn green? I mean, what are we waiting for? A crossing guard here? No one's going to help you turn the corner. Ooh. Morg said, I just got wrapped up in a mock trial Friday. It was $350 cash. Oh, my gosh. I need a little piece. I need a little study. Kim just sent me a study. I'm hoping that I can get into it. I want to get into this study. Amen. Oh. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed your vacation. I need to get some gas, but we're going to get that on the way back. Right, he all scared to drive, sir. Get out of the way in this pickup truck. I can tell you what we are going to talk about is that Latasha Scott over there from Escape. I wish there was like a smoothie place in route over here, but there isn't. There is no smoothie place over here. Um. Oh, somebody just sent the cash app. Oh, let's see who that was. Thank you, Jennifer Griffin and David Johnson. Thank you very much. Happy Sunday to you. I appreciate that. But yeah, I wish there was a smoothie place over here. Number fried foods and grease. Thank you very much, Kiki. I do what I can for the people. I do what I can for the people. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nine. Latasha should be ashamed of herself, but I'm going to talk about it when we get over here. Ain't near smoothie place in route. Uh, Elliot was trying to come over yesterday, but I was about to take a nap. I said, uh-uh, I'm about to take me a nap. I wish there was a tropical smoothie over here somewhere. They don't think black folks want anything other than fried food and stuff. Is that all y'all eating? Is that all y'all eating? Hey, skin potion. Hey, niece. That's all they think we want to eat is fried chicken and grease. You know, I had to wear my white today because we, we, we're going to get into some things today. So I figured I would get, I would wear some white. Huh? I need to watch, um, I did watch the Gerard Carmichael thing. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that as well. His second episode. Where's my lip therapy? Let me get my lip, my lip stuff going on. Off of 138. Let me see. Let me see if I can find. Oh, Rob Patterson. Thank you for the cash app. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Baby, when I tell you my 48th birthday is sneaking up on me faster than COVID-19. When I tell you my 48th birthday is trying to sneak up on me like a thief in the night. When I tell you my 48th birthday is trying to sneak up on me like the Patreon debit sneaks up on y'all in the middle of the morning, my 48th birthday is like right around the corner. It's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Girl Skin Potion, I love y'all over there, girl. Y'all, listen, they come through with them $99 and 99 cent super chats. Amen. Thank you, Skin Potions. Y'all make sure y'all going over to Skin Potions and try their products. They smell amazing. They really do. You know, I don't talk about stuff I don't really like. Now, I usually put their stuff, their creams and things on at night when I get out of the shower. You know how you are dried up and shit and your skin needs a little bit of um, a little moisture because you didn't pull all of the moisture out. No, I'm a Taurus. I am May 4th. I don't have any birthday plans thus far. But you know me. 
I might figure out something at the last minute. Amen. I might figure out something at the last minute. But yeah, I put that skin, uh, skin potion on right when, um, oh, skin potion. They're asking, is there a promo code that they can use? You know, my people are like me. They're very frugal. They love a good discount. Skin potion, if you're going to do a promo code, make it Craig the Writer. Because all of my, well, I don't really have no partnership with y'all. Now, we can work that out where I get a little a little nickel or dime off of each, you know, one that comes through with Craig the Writer. But they're asking if there's a promo code, you know, so they can get them a little discount, huh? Because, you know, my people love a discount. But, yeah, no, I don't, um, but I do put it on when I get out of the shower. And those of you got those crusty, hard bottom feet, listen, that cream that comes in the, um, in the can that they have, not the lotion, because I don't know if that's gonna be powerful enough for your for for your for your for your for your bunion area and your heel. You know that heel where you be taking that little knife and be scraping off all of that dead skin. And when you go to the pedicure place and they be trying to oh wait a minute, the skin potion people said we will create something. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, I almost missed my turn getting into that promotion. Hold on. Wait a minute, let me bustle you, because, girl, they started talking about a promo and a sponsorship, girl. You know, I, my eyes get the, my eyes get the, listen, listen. But look, back to those of you who be at the store, at the at the nail place, and they be having to have to run that metal thing over your heel several times, and you be damn near bleeding. That cream in the, in the, in the, in the, in the jar, in the can, is for you. It smells wonderful. When I say it smells wonderful, it smells wonderful. Now, I don't know which one I got. I got to look at it. I don't know because they got more than one fra fragrance. But, baby, when I tell you, I'm going to give some to my mother. She and Gloria are coming down for uh, Mother's Day. I'm going to give them one when they come down because both of them got hooves like bison. When I say they both got feet like bison, <laughs> they, they, they got hooves like bison. Do you hear me? Like they've been walking around in, in, in some um in a field all day. Do you hear me? With gravel. Let me see. Is there a place around here for me to get a smoothie? Jeez. When I tell you them feet of theirs, ooh, my God today. And I can't even say whose feet are worse because they both got some, ooh, they got some monsters on them. And they both love to walk around um, barefoot, messing up my wood floors in the house. Girl, I just put some um, uh, 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 Murphy's oil soap down there. You taking up all of the moisture out the floors. Put your socks on or something. Put some sandals on or some slides, a little mule or something. See, I don't really want Smoothie King because that ain't nothing but sugar, niece. Smoothie King ain't nothing but sugar. Let me see where this is. Yeah, see, this is taking me too far out of my way. Let me see something. Uh, yeah, that's, see, that's taking me eight, eight minutes out of my way. I ain't got time for all that. Oh, I'm starving. And then I had a um I had a nice big old orange. Oh, thank you for sending me this. Tanisha. Let me see. Oh girl, that's 18 minutes away. Yeah, girl, this ain't this ain't really going in the direction I need to go in. I had a nice old orange, a big old orange that I, I had on the counter. But I was so busy trying to get over here to talk to y'all. They texting now. See how far I am. 10 minutes. I'm 10 minutes. Don't forget my girl over there at shopwixnola.com. My girl down there at Wixnola Candles and fragrances and things. The promo code is Craig the Writer. That's your permanent promo code. You can use it as often as you go over there to shop. And you get 15% off, niece. 
you get 15% off your order. Do you hear me? I'm waiting on the package to come from her now. Amen. Let me get my things. Let me get my things in order. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a little too far on the right. I'm a little too far on the right. Oh, somebody's waiting on their order now. But yeah, so um, we have some things that we're going to talk about. There are a few things that we're going to talk about today. I definitely want to get into the white people stuff because white people have been showing their goddamn ass this past week. So I, I found a few things that I wanted to discuss. Oh, thank you very much, Joanne. Joanne said, I'm buying your books. I appreciate it. Are you going over to... Wait a minute. That's my girlfriend that sent me the money for the, um, the pots that I bought. Joanne, I didn't tell you I went and bought the pots. I bought them from Macy's.com. I love them. But yeah, Joanne, are you going over to Craig the Writer Steward to buy them? If you purchase the physical books, I sign them and I ship them out to you. But if you can also get the audible version over there from my website too, if you if you like to listen to it. But I do have some orders that need to go out tomorrow. So if you guys want to purchase books through my website, you can. It's CraigTheWriterSteward.com and I will be shipping out orders tomorrow. Because we take pride in shipping out our things quickly. We do really good black business over here. But yeah, white folks have been showing their goddamn ass this past week. So there's, there are a couple stories that I pulled that I do want to talk about. I bought some um, uh, stainless steel Cuisinart. Stainless steel with the, look, with the little lip on the side so you can pour it and stuff. And they got the um, cool handles. Amen. Amen. But yeah, so um, it's a few stories that I want to get into. Don Lemon got married over the weekend. Don't forget the tickets for the City Winery show are on sale. I think most of the front seats are gone, I think. I think. The first show is April 24th. Uh, nine of my friends have already purchased tickets. They purchased theirs, amen? So, yeah, so Scott, Elliot, Jack, um, thank you, Florida T-Bird. Thank you very much. Scott, Elliot, Jack, Jamie, Felicia, Randy, Ryan. Oh, my, my crew going to be there that first night, April 24th, niece. They going to be there April 24th. They, they all put their little change together and they got their tickets. They put their change together and they got their tickets, niece. Now, see, when I get over to this house, they better be ready, too. They be texting me, telling me, how far are you? How close are you? Mo don't be having all of the stuff in the system. I be double, double checking. I'm like, did you get this? Did you get this? Oh, no, I, I thought I, oh, no, let me go. I, I can get up here real quick. I can get up there real quick. Sir, you should have had all this in here before I got here. Why y'all texting my phone? and call on my phone to see where I'm at. I've done my part. I've sent the stories over. All I need to do is show up and sit down and talk. That's it. I should be able to sit down and talk. Let me let me walk in, sit down and talk. Kevin Kev, are you coming to the uh, Fag Talk residency? Any of the shows? Are you coming on the 24th? Are you coming to the main show? My friend Marv up in D.C. called me the other day talking about, um, are there any comp tickets for Andrew? Are you coming to Fag Talk? Are you coming to Fag Talk, Andrew, from Florida, from down there in Tampa? Um, but yeah, my friend Marv up in D.C. with his tight, cheap ass. Don't come calling me talking about, are there any comp tickets? I said, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Ain't nobody say nothing about no comp tickets. Ain't nobody said nothing about no comp tickets. He's talking about, ooh, are there any discounts? Uh-uh, there are not. I got a mortgage to pay because time I can't pay that mortgage. The people are like, child, he, he can't even pay his mortgage. He didn't took his ass over there to France. He walked around in them damn boots and shit. He can't even afford his mortgage. Yeah, I can't afford my mortgage because friends are asking for free tickets. Huh? Huh? Child, he didn't got all that landscaping done. He can't even afford the more. Child, that don't make no sense. Child, y'all, they wouldn't be able to wait to say it. <laughs> wouldn't be able to wait to say it. Child, yeah, he, mm-hmm. 
got facials and shit he doing and, and renovating the basement and couldn't even keep the mortgage going. Oh, I know how y'all talk. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I know. I know how y'all talk. Every time I look up, he got a gathering over at his house and he can't even keep the mortgage up. Girl, we're going to talk about a repossession over here on the live today. huh? I got a story about a repossession over here on the live. Amen. Right. You know, that's what they're going to say, Chronicles of Kim K. They're like, child, he all grand and stuff. He's so bougie. Couldn't he keep his mortgage up? Girl, he got he got a cleaning lady coming to his house and Jack over there cooking and he can't even keep up the... He can't even keep up... Look, you ain't got to finish the sentence because you he can't even keep up the... <laughs> look, that's how you know you aggravated. You don't even finish the sentence. Child, he doing all that stuff. He couldn't even keep up the... You mean to tell me he... Wait, he did... You don't even finish the sentence. And he was just over in France. How long was he in? Wasn't he there for like? God, he driving around in that. You don't even finish the sentence. You don't even finish the sentence. You just so aggravated, and you so disappointed. He walked around. He getting his hair cut every week, and he, and he could. <laughs> right. He built a whole apartment downstairs, and his ass is broke. Go that don't make no sense. He walking around being all grand and stuff, and he can't even. He, he walked around with that, that juicer, that expensive juicer, getting fresh produce and stuff, and he, he can't even, he couldn't even, he got clothes from Grease Town, he couldn't even, he, he, he are you, I mean, right, right trying to calculate my coins, Walker, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to calculate my things. Oh my God. Okay. Every time he look up, here he go. And he didn't got, got, got. he didn't got his student loan money back and he broke. Got, got. He didn't got he got all that student loan money. And he and you mean to tell me he couldn't. <laughs> look, you don't need to finish the sentence. He got that ten thousand dollar projector screen that he had got from over there at the Meanwhile, they don't tell you that he bought it high. Meanwhile, they don't even tell you. Meanwhile, they don't even tell you that he bought the screen hot, the projector hot. They don't tell you that he bought the projector hot. They just tell you that he got a twenty thousand dollar entertainment system down there. He ain't tell you. They, they don't tell you that he bought it in the parking lot of the Sam's Club hot. They want you to think that he didn't spent money on a projector system and could not pay his mortgage. That's what they want you to believe. They want you to think that his priorities are what out of order. They want you to think his priorities are out of order. Child, he, you mean to tell me he, girl, he ain't got no money? I mean, girl, he on the here talking about people trying to borrow money from him and he ain't even got, <laughs> he on here talking about people trying to borrow money from him and he ain't even got, they on here talking about people in their apartments and their cubicles and stuff and he, and he couldn't, you, why? You know that's how they would do. You know that's how they would do. Couldn't wait. Girl, let me, where, where his house at? We need to go over there and see if we can get some of that stuff once they set it out. Once they set some of that stuff out. Once, when the sheriff coming? When is the sheriff coming? Because we need to pull up over there and get some of that stuff. Because I didn't seen some of that stuff on his lives. Because <laughs> I got my eye on those, uh, on those pendant lights. I got my eyes on those pendant lights that he had downstairs and you can get the ones that he had upstairs. And don't they say they sleep on like thousand thread count sheets? We can go in there and get some of them sheet sets. <laughs> ah! He on here doing charities and and, 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 and and raising funds and stuff for the homeless and now he homeless. He over here doing fundraisers and stuff, trying to get us to come together for charity. He need to reach out to them charities and get some help for himself. Let me get that juicer. I want to come over there and get that juicer. Because he ain't going to need that if he homeless. Where he going to be juicing at? At the homeless shelter? He don't need no uh, juicer. 
Mm-mm. He does not need that. Just excited. You know how they do. You already know. Girl, why are you canceled? Text Madison and Mo. What do you want to say to the group? I'm here, period. Open up the garage. Cindy, I'm here. Open up the garage. I said garage. <laughs> Don't be correcting me. I'm from the UK. Garage. Open up the garage. All right, so we are here. Hopefully we'll be on within the next 30 minutes. It, you, you know, if this was a perfect world, I'd be walking in, I'd be grabbing one of those bottles of water, and I'd be going straight to my seat, and I'd be ready to talk. But, you know, give us about 15 minutes, okay? Make sure you're subscribed over here on my channel. Turn on your notifications. Turn on that little bell so that you get the notifications, even though YouTube doesn't always notify you. See, I say, see, I think that's some conspiracy shit. Hey, new member. Hey, James Carr. See, I think that's some, some conspiracy shit. See, YouTube don't be notifying y'all when I'm live because, see, they don't want my views to be up. Amen? Because, see, if my views are up, then they got to cut me a bigger check over there at YouTube. And see, this is what we be saying, black content creators be saying about YouTube. Now, why is Jameson Park like this in the driveway? Now, I say this every time I get over here. Look, you got to blow the horn. Now, I done told them that I was here. Now, they not opened up the, car the, the garage. Thank you, James, for the super chat. Thank you very much. Open up this motherfucking garage. Just ignorant for no reason. <laughs> just, just ignorant for no reason. Who is this that I didn't text? I didn't text. Well, I did text Madison, but I don't know who this is. Ciao. I'm here. Open the garage. I sure hope Miss Mary in there cooking. Because when I say the kid is hungry, the kid is hungry. Let me um let me get my little eye drop in. Jameson definitely be doing the most. Now, I don't know why his car got to be parked dead in the middle of the um, of the driveway. All right, come on in here, Nate, niece. Uh, Jameson. Yes? I'm going to block you in the next time. I tried to move over to the side. <laughs> Where would you get your license from? Sesame Street? I'm not a big body. Really? I thought Mo was gonna like pull up and then he was gonna like Well, Mo's from Africa. I, I, listen, he don't know how to drive either. I'm not from either. You look nice with your little jewelry and shit on. Come here. Uh, I look crazy right now. In another life, I'd have bunch you. Mm, I know. Uh, he said, really, I know. <laughs> what time did you get here today? I got here early. I got here like 11.30. What time did you get finished? When you text me talking about hurry up? I was about to finish, yeah. I, I knew you. Playing. I was just. Playing. I I knew you were close to finish. I said, "Yeah, he's he's celebrating himself now because see, he almost done." Yeah, I, I still. I don't know. Like she thinks I live twenty minutes away, so. Right. She called me at like nine thirty. I took about ten fifteen minutes to actually get up, and I got ready right away. Well, what would you do last night? Uh, I didn't do nothing last night. Oh. Yeah, I, just, I stayed at home. I just made dinner. What'd you make? Um, I had chicken and veggie lettuce wraps. You cooked? I cook, yeah, I cook every day. Oh, all right. Listen, you guys, I will see you on Fag Talk. Thank you, Christy, for being a new member. Bye.